The projector screen is the most important part of home cinema. You literally look at it the whole time. AWE presents Smart Home Essential Series. Four things to consider when specifying a home cinema projector screen. Is the cinema a dedicated room or does it need to be integrated into a multi-purpose space? If it's a dedicated room, then a fixed frame screen is the best option. These are permanently tensioned from all sides, so the material lays completely flat. If you're going for a hidden cinema look, then a drop-down screen should be used. These can be on wall or in ceiling, manual or electric. To get a flatter image, go for a tab tension model. If you go for an electric screen, also consider how it will be controlled. The simplest option is a 12 volt trigger, so when your projector turns on, the screen drops down automatically. What screen shape should you go for? Well, the simple answer is the screen should match the content. The best way to do this is by having a masking screen, so that if you're watching a movie, the screen is in a cinema scope, or more commonly referred to as a 2.35 aspect ratio, and if you're going to watch TV content, like sports, then your screen is gonna be 16 by nine. The most common way of doing this is with constant height projection, so the image stays the same height, but the sides of the screen are masked to match the shape. However, this could be cost prohibitive. If your budget can't stretch to this, or the cinema's only gonna be used for a single purpose, you should select a screen with an aspect ratio that matches the majority of the content being watched. Screen materials include matte white, acoustically transparent, gray or silver screens, and ambient light rejecting screens, known as ALR. Matte white is the simplest to deal with, as light reflects off it equally in all directions, meaning you don't have to worry about off-access seating positions. For this to work properly, you need a completely blacked out room to maintain good contrast, as the darkest the screen can ever go is how it looks when nothing is being projected on it. If you want to hide your speakers behind the screen, you need to go for an acoustically transparent screen, or more accurately, an acoustically translucent screen. These are either micro perforated or a weave style. The advantage of this is that speech comes directly through the screen and locks onto the image better. The disadvantage is that you lose some light through the holes in the screen. This is often around 20%. Also, if you're sitting close to the screen, the perforations or weave can be seen. For better contrast, go for a gray screen giving you better blacks. However, you do lose some peak brightness. Then there's ALR, or ambient light rejecting screens. These are also great, but this time it's an engineered material tailoring more light towards the audience and off-axis light away, giving even better contrast, color, and brightness. The downside is that if you're not sitting directly in front of the screen, you will suffer from a duller image. This is the big one. How far should you sit from the screen or how big should the screen be? This is down to the resolution of your projector and the resolution of the content. Essentially, you need to be far enough away to not see the individual pixels. The best way to describe this is by using picture height. If it's HD projector, you should sit no closer than three picture heights away. For 4K images, you can sit as close as one and a half picture heights. You won't want to be any closer than this because it roughly equates to a 60 degree viewing cone, which is perfect for filling your field of vision without it feeling like you're at a tennis match. At AWE, we distribute Euroscreen. They offer a range of drop down and fixed frame screens with a choice of fabrics. Check out more videos below and please support our channel by hitting the like button. To stay up to date with our latest videos, remember to subscribe and check the bell icon so you get notified whenever new content is released. If you have any questions, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching.